before the main feature presentation starts, we you literally have five days left to buy tickets for our live stream to Feed Nova Scotia to help raise money for Feed Nova Scotia. That's right. And don't forget, Jonathan Torrance is our special guest. He's played J-Rock in Trailer Park Boys. He's been in Mr. D. And he's, for some bizarre reason, agreed to join us for a live stream. Come on pay $15 for a ticket and come and ask him and us some questions and have a blast for a little while and it's for a good cause. Decem- We're no. done. We're done. That's it. No, December, oh, December the, the 11th. December the 11th. You can get tickets at CanadianPoliticsExploring.com um, and then get the tickets and get on with the show. Okay, yay! It's Wolf Black Act Day 6 and oh, here we're about to open the uh, the beer that is made from congealed yak's milk. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh you my spilled God. it all oh, over no. your hands. <laughs> oh, don't drive. Why did, why did you wiggle so your rare. tongue on it? You, you so rare. did too. So rare. <laughs> <laughs> so congealed yak's milk. Oh, it's uh, good. Beer is quite tasty. You smell it before you taste it, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's uh, oh, oh, that's pungent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's... Anyway, shall I open um, door number six? Six, yeah. Happy will fuck act. By the oh, way. happy will fuck act. Jesus. Sorry, the 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 yaks milk has gone to my head. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, <clears throat> this is day six of a fuck act. It's going very well. Happy. So, uh, what does fuck act stand for again? I I know this. It is the winter festival. The winter festival of unaligned celebration advent calendar. It is. It is exactly that. Well done. Thank you. I'm very, very uh, proud of myself. It's not your first work at Gak. It's not fuck Gak, is it? But it so. seems to be yours. It does, <laughs> even though it, it was born of my mind. So uh, what is behind door number six? Um, some angry religious people from the last episode. <laughs> Let, let's open the door and find out. If you're still with us, thanks very much. Yes, thank okay. you. That was horrible. That was a horrible door. <laughs> Jesus. Can we get that door looked at? <laughs> so anyway, um, this is called Jugmeat Sings Dodgy Christmas Card. J- Sweet. What? Oh, Jugmeat like, Sings. I like Jugmeat Sings. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Actually, yeah, it's not really his fault, but his Christmas cards were dodgy. Dodgy? So, what do you mean by dodgy? Mm, That's a Welsh word, isn't it? Dodgy. dodgy. This is like a British thing. If someone's dodgy, it means they've semi-legal broken the law. Semi legal, yeah, maybe or semi illegal, more like. Don't don't hang out with him. He's dodgy, you know. And that dodgy person might be a drug dealer or uh, eliciting stolen goods. This is Chuck Meat Singh we're talking about. No, it's Christmas cards. His so that, he would, would, that he would write. Would you let me to unpack this story? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. So NDP officials misused voter list information supplied by Election Canada, Elections Canada, to mail out Christmas cards. Uh, leader Jagmeet Singh's office says Singh's office sent Christmas cards to an unspecified number of people, including parliamentary reporters, several of which arrived at personal home addresses which had not been given to the party. How did you find the addresses? <laughs> Elections Canada it was electoral data, confidential election date oh my god oh well, that's not okay yeah so senior party <coughs> officials expressed surprise at the use of private personal addresses singh's chief of staff jennifer howard confirmed the addresses were drawn from drawn from elections canada information and apologized saying we would never want anyone to be worried about the security of the home address information did they send that to them in another card uh and singh's spokesperson uh said that the leader's office gave a list of card recipients, many of which had come from previous lists, to a junior staffer to update and to take the mail out. In the transfer, some work addresses inexplicably dropped off the list um, and instead were replaced with their personal addresses. Um, And it was said, it cannot, it can and will not happen anymore. Uh, Using voters' personal information is an unauthorised um, using personal information in an unauthorised manner is a criminal offence under the Elections Canada Act. When did this happen? And subject to a fine of $10,000 and imprisonment for up to one year, or both. So how many cards did he send out? Um, I don't think it was that many. Like dozens or I think hundreds? It was, I think it was a few dozen. A but, few dozen. So, yeah, that's, ultimately, so that's like hundreds of thousands of dollars and at least a couple decades in prison. Potentially, yeah. <clears throat> but it was a mistake by a junior staffer who somehow got their information from them. Some of the oh, so, so Jugmeet Singh didn't like. Oh no, this one, this, this one information. Jugmeet, no, from, no, he wasn't like. He wasn't like. Tell me where they live. He was. Is that your impression of Jugmeet? No, Singh? that was, was, it, was, a, that was am an I evil, pronouncing uh, his name correctly? Jugmeet. 
Jug meat. I think it's jug meat, yeah. Yeah, I think it is too, yeah. Um, I, I know, that was me just doing a bad guy voice, doesn't it? <laughs> What's an impression of Give me your home addresses. Uh, I'm jug meat Singh. Blah, 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 blah. Definitely that's, that's doesn't sound like... I'm thinking he would make it doesn't when sound... doing an evil voice. Um, I think ultimately they were just trying to send some nice Christmas cards to people. The actual work address is vanished off the list, so the junior staffer access the ele- elections Canada information and added their personal addresses instead. How many people get mad about this? <laughs> enough, I can't imagine for it to make the news. I suppose it's, that really only takes like one or two people out of a bunch. I bet you most people are not going to get upset at someone sending them a fucking Christmas well, card. Nobody, like, nobody went to prison, so it's fine. Right, yeah, like, just kind of get over yourself. Like, honest to God, it's a Christmas card. <laughs> They're not sending fucking, uh, what's it called? It's like anthrax in the mail, okay? Or a dead chicken or something worse than a dead chicken and anthrax. Like, it's it's just a Christmas card, man. It's like, yeah, and, and if, if he sent me a Christmas card to my house, I wouldn't go, oh, how does he know my address? I, I mean, go, I might. I would go, oh, he knows my address. <laughs> Maybe he'll swing by someday. <laughs> Inhale some some ham. Yeah, yeah. Jug meat. This is an open invitation. If you'd like to come and inhale some ham, I, somehow I'd. Isn't he a vegetarian? Thus, the inhaling of the ham. Oh yeah, rather right. than eating it. Rather than is eating, he a vegetarian? Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I, I think that might have been a do fact. Do not I read. know that much about Jugbeet Singh's personal life. We should know more. We, we should, should well, know he, more. He knows all our addresses. You should know so more. We should know more about him. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so um, he's that, local, isn't he? Isn't he I think he grew up in Newfoundland at some point. And cool. Now, and now he lives in Toronto. Oh, he lives in Toronto. Oh, yeah. Still, I thought he was local. Oh, well. Uh, anyway. Jagmeet Singh, we salute you. And With the, in the traditional Wafakak salute, which you can't see, but we're doing now. Wow, it's hard to do. It's very hard. It's, there's so many moves in this <laughs> Wafakak salute. And there's something I'd like to add to this as well. Okay. So did you know that you're not allowed to give any gifts to the Prime Minister for Christmas? Including his wife and children? No, so... Like he's just not allowed receiving gifts ever from so, anyone? The Federal Accountability Act of, 20, of 2006, as well as the security protocol, states that Canada's Prime Minister and his family cannot accept monetary presents, gift cards, not even from Tim Hortons, or perishable <laughs> items such as Christmas cookies or cakes, and don't even bother sending the items. Apparently they get severely damaged during the security screening process. What? I don't know how you can severely damage some cookies during a screening process i can i can picture there's a hammer involved yeah just unnecessary teeth. violence on baked goods <laughs> just ma- what are you doing i'm just making these safe for justin <laughs> you know how he doesn't like oh, to chew I, I just thought of a loophole wind back a few days we did an episode on how it was his birthday on christmas just say as a birthday present there's nothing you're about oh wow you, you might know give him a christmas oh on my that, god that covers birthday presents as well You'd have to look into but it. But that's like, what I would call it. Justin Trudeau, a birthday gift and wink at him when you do it. <laughs> so, yeah. so you've got a, you've got a, a, a plate of innocent, perfect looking Christmas cookies. And mm. next to it, a round wrapped present with a fuse coming out with like sparkling kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> spark, like a comedy bomb. And they go, I'm sorry, these these are cookies of a Christmas. We're going to have to smash them up with a hammer. That's for his birthday. I'll go. I'll, go, I'll hand deliver it to him now. <laughs> I don't think that loophole exists. It's perfect, though. It's yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> we just discovered it. <laughs> oh, my anyway. God. Anyway. Oh, God. Anyway. So, <sighs> that was... That was day six. That was day six. Oh, well, fuck I'm going to go and get an early night ready for day seven, because well, fuck Ack is the gift that keeps on giving, but it is exhausting. Doing well, fuck Ack every day? Yes. Really? Okay. I mean, you, you know you know when you have those lazy days where you do nothing and you feel more tired than at the end of a busy day? Right. No, yeah. I don't actually. That's, that's every day is a lazy day. Every day is a lazy day for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but you know I'm, what? You know what? I'm going to go and just lie on my back and try and uh, gargle yak's milk. Okay. I, are you excited for tonight? Um, is when face punching Dave shows up. I am, but I don't know. It's too commercialized now. Face punching Dave. Yeah. The face punching Dave action figures that came out last year were a there's, bit. There's um, the hat. There's the trainers. There's the right. uh, the new Nissan Dave face puncher car. Right. You know. <clears throat> Uh, I've got a, I've got a tattoo. What? Um, Show me. There you go. There he is. It's his face. Oh, that looks just like him too. Yeah. yeah, just like the gristle coming out of his teeth and the snarl and the one bad eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, 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 the, job and he's got seventy five percent of his of his ear lobes, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> he lost twenty five percent in a fight, as we all know. 
Yes. Uh, yes. So <laughs> great, fantastic. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go hit the hay. Okay. Choke to death in my bed on some congealed axe milk and uh, call it a night. That sounds great. I'll. I'll let's let's hope and that, that that's not face a face punching game. Doesn't punch me in the face tonight. And uh, choking, laying in bed and choking on some congealed axe milk wasn't a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Just an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Oh my god.